Yo, ho, wow. Do you see this guy right now? Look at this little boy. Oh my God. Okay guys, so this is gonna be Battle Game in 5 Seconds Episode 2. Honestly, I'm actually very happy I started this because it's very different from any other anime that is coming out. I mean, it's not different in the sense that it's unique because we've seen a lot of death game anime, but there isn't any other death game anime this season. What really attracted me about this anime in episode 1 was the art style definitely, the colors, and the, especially the power of our main male character where his power, his superpower is essentially whatever the other person thinks it is. So there's a lot of mind games that are going to be played in order to win a lot of these fights. He's going to have to convince his opponent that his power is whatever he wants it to be. That's a nice dynamic. That's a nice way for the fights to not just be action, but to have a little bit more thought to them and be a little bit more strategic, you know? Can't wait for more. So let's get right into it. What I want to know is what's the threshold for the person believing that it's his ability or not? Just because he's seen it before or something? Is that why he... I don't know. We'll see. Yo. ho, oh, Wow. Do you see this guy right now? Look at this little boy. Holy shit. That is a cute ass puppy. I'm sorry. I had to pause that. Oh. My. God. Are you kidding me right now? It's even cute when it barks, bro. Oh my god. Okay. That might have just... Just because of that, I might just keep this anime, no matter what. He turned out to be a stalker perv. And he started following me everywhere. Oh, ayo. Oh, he's a weirdo. Oh, his buddy. Okay, buddy. Are we gonna see like so? We're gonna see a lot of different characters like introduction into this battle game. Their 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 uh, POVs before they drop in. Oh no, dude! This guy is unhinged. All right, dude. This guy is. I mean, I know he's like about to kill himself, but this guy is. I don't know about this guy. <gasps> Hey yo! What? Whoa! That is some crazy shit that he just did. You ain't going home. This ain't Kansas anymore. Yeah, you're fucking chalk, dude. Yo, that's a dirty ass door, though. What's her ability? Oh, they're okay. They're not gonna tell us. Oh no! Oh no, this show is like, oh, it's one of those where they're never going to tell us the ability. They're going to show it to us. Earthquake? She has like a seismic? Super strength? This morning, it's sundown. Damn. Nothing? She ain't eat anything all day, bro. Oh no. Damn, it seems like she doesn't get fed much, like by her dad or something. That's kind of whack. I mean, Michelle said eating all day, but I feel like that could also be the case. When the old... Oh, she almost called him, like, her dad, essentially, on that? Ugh, I don't know, man. Is she not a girl? Or what's the deal here? Wait, I'm confused. What was the... Oh, bro. She had... I don't know why that... She has, like scars on her body bro from being abused from her dad right oh no dude dude this is great this is actually pretty good the the fact that they give characterization to the characters and not just like let them fight and kill each other that that's i like that i really do oh god i mean she probably smells like shit bro they've been uh oh but they really ha wait. What's your ability? Other person condition. That's weird, bro. 
condition, so like their health condition and everything. Well, sh I can't get off without those. Sh oh, this guy's whack, bro. Kill his ass. Oh, God, he is loving this. What are you doing? Ew. Ew, bro. This guy's so whack, bro. Oh, he is down bad, bro. Oh, no, dude. Oh, he killed her? Did he kill her? He strangled her? Oh. Oh, no. Oh, no, dude. Oh, so he is a he is a serial killer. He killed all the escorts. I mean, I'm not gonna lie. This guy's power is pretty trash. And now she's about to clap his. Sh oh, ouch! I like how they show the emotions on the side. That's pretty cool. So is her shit? Oh, super strength. So is her shit super strength and super speed? They're gonna. Sh Quintuple? Ayo. So she's got a all for. She got one for all. It's basically some Kaioken type shit. Mm, yeah, where does it. Yo, she just be pulling up. What the hell? From lifespan, of course. Oh, crap. Oh, someone on the. Oh. Oh, I thought it was their own lifespan. Wait, what? Oh come on, bro! I don't even know what's 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 real and what's not anymore. Is she fucking with him? Oh, this fucking Cheshire cat wannabe right here, bro. Oh shit! So these are gonna be the friends that we're working with here. Oh, this guy. Five on five. Oh shit! That's gonna be tough, dude. This is gonna be next episode. Okay, so that was Battle Game in Five Seconds, episode two, and I really like the structure of this show. So it seems like. At least for the first two episodes, they've been showing a new character and giving them backstory and pretty much showing how they got to where they are, characterizing them and then putting them in a fight that helps them get over their struggles and their trauma a little bit, at least in the case of uh, Yuri this episode. I really did like Yuri's backstory and it really did make me feel more attached to her uh, versus just the stuff with the stalker in the beginning. If they just did that stuff, I don't think I would really have cared as much, but getting more about her history and her life was uh, pretty important, I think. And so what they do is they put you through all this and then at the end they show you what the person's ability is. So it's a way of showing and not telling. Um, well, it seems like we're going to be getting some 5 on 5 battles next week, so that's going to be tough. Probably going to get characterization for the rest of those people that were in there. We got that guy from last episode, episode 1. We have the other person from episode 1 who didn't fight, but he kind of stood up to the Cheshire Cat character. Uh, so he seems like he has some morals, and then the fifth guy, I'm not sure about. And obviously we have the girl and our MC. So, yeah, how they're going to work together is going to be interesting to see. Uh, what people's powers are is also uh, going to be something to look out for. But that's uh, going to be for next episode. So if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to leave me a like. Let me know what you guys are thinking about this anime so far down in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe, guys. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.